What do we got here? Where there cannot be a single fucking stream with no issues. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. This is, this is ridiculous. That's okay. We're just going to fucking power through it. Because, yeah. Got to do what you got to do. Okay. Uh, but the good thing is, I still have some of your questions up here on the board. Uh, Ford, what do you think about, uh, okay, yeah, guys, don't buy a fucking, if, if you see, if the title doesn't match the driver's license of the person that's selling your car, that's a red fucking flag. They could have easily towed or stole the car, there is no title, there is no title to the fucking car, and they're trying to sell it to you for three or four grand. That's a, that, that's a very likely a stolen car. That could be a car that was, uh, they, they put the title into a payday loan, they got no fucking title, they don't own the car. You're buying a piece of junk, you're buying fucking metal. That's it, it's good for parts only. You can't fucking drive that shit. Gary E, have you gone uh, to any auctions then since you got out of the car business? No. Nope. I'm driving an ugly ass PT Cruiser. Janice, we drove ugly ass PT Cruiser. We had it for fucking years. My friend, Janice, keep that motherfucker running. Until it blows up. I don't care how ugly that shit is. Dax Lee drove Dodge uh, Charger. That thing drove very well. What do you think? I mean, I wouldn't buy a Dodge personally. I'm not a huge Dodge fan or just a Chrysler product fan. But if you want to buy it, sure, whatever. You know, go for it. What else do we have here? Uh, Gary Starkey, are auctions general waste of time? They always advertise in my area. I feel like too many people would show up and overbid for these cars. Oh, uh, Gary, you're absolutely right. There's going to be a hundred motherfuckers for one car. It, 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 it's going to be horrible, dude. It's going to be horrible. These prices are going to be like insane. So if you want to buy a car from an auction, uh, Contact me, you know, and we'll just, we'll arrange that. We'll make it happen, you know? Taxi Lee, much better than comparable Toyota Avalon. Taxi, uh, what is better than, oh, 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 yeah, you're, you're comparing Charger than Avalon. I mean, yeah, these are completely different cars. Uh, Anthony Garcia, $45,000 MSRP, bought it for $39,000. What do you think, RDX A spec? Bro, you just saved six fucking grand. Like, what do I think, uh, sir? Balls to you? <laughs> like, what the fuck do I think? That's fucking amazing. What do I think? That's dope as fuck, bro. Yo, Anthony Garcia, if you use my shit and you save some money, bro, I want to do a fucking interview. I'm doing interviews with everybody that's saving money because I want to show people that what I teach is not something that I'm just pulling out of my ass. This is not just bullshit. This works. Anthony Garcia, I don't even know this dude. I don't even know this motherfucker. Saved, watch my shit, did what I told him to do in the videos, saved six fucking grand. Yo, Anthony, hit me up on Facebook, all right? I want to do an interview with me. Tell your story. Tell how, how, how the fuck the process went. You saved $6,000. You do understand that like nobody else did that. They went to the, there was like 50 other people that went to the same dealership that week. They didn't save $6,000. Guys, if you saved money and, and you like from doing what I teach, I want to do an interview with you. I'm, I'm starting to do a lot more uh, like community involvement. If I can say it like that, I guess. Um, the juice man what up dude uh, what's the best sedan for 20k love your videos bro thank you juice man I appreciate it buddy Yo, come on man ES350 baby that's gonna be the best thing it's reliable it's comfortable it's good looking the leather is soft like baby's butt you know so you, you can enjoy the car 
and not worry about it, this thing blowing up, constantly having electrical issues or, you know, BMW, Mercedes, Audi problems. So buy a fucking, uh, buy, a, buy a used Lexus CS350. That thing is fucking amazing. <clears throat> uh, Travis, uh, where did I go? Dude, my, my OBS crashed. So YouTube is trying to fuck me. OBS crashing, internet disconnecting, and my computer crashing. So, I mean, we're off to a solid fucking start. Um, beer kicks first. The juice man, yo, hook me up directly. Yo, my phone number is below in the description. Just shoot me a text or call me. Uh, Gary E, we are back. Thank you, I appreciate it. What happened? Uh, can you finish my question? Yeah, Ford, I hope, uh, I hope I finished your question. You know, well, I did. I know, I just, I don't know if you were here or not. Uh, Spearco K, what up, dude? Darlene Timmons, good to see you. <laughs> Oh, good to see you. That is so funny. Like, I love, I like, like, I actually know you. <laughs> That's funny. We actually, like, talked on the phone, you know. Asad, um, what up, dude? Hey, Dan, what do you think about news about new Honda Pilot and transmission issues? What do you think about it? I fucking predicted that shit, for, like, a long time ago. But what do you think? Like, not new. What's not news to me? Um, but here's the cool thing. Honda is going to fix it. If there's problems, it's a fucking Honda. Honda is going to fix it. They're not going to tell their customers to go fuck themselves. They're just going to give you a new transmission, so I wouldn't worry about it. You know? Uki, what used sedan would you buy for 20K? Again, Lexus ES350. Thoughts on Camry X, uh, XSE? Chuck Lang, Lexus ES350. Why would I buy a fucking Camry XLE when I can buy a Lexus? I mean, maybe XLE is uh, XSE is just as comparable, but maybe not. You know, drive around, see how see how you feel. And I think uh, used Lexus is actually going to be cheaper. <clears throat> Anthony Garcia, uh, forty five thousand dollars, thirty nine out the door. What do you think, dude? I said I I think it's amazing, Anthony Garcia. I want to do an interview with you. I want to like tell your story. Let's let's do a call. I want to do an interview with you. Shoot me a text. My phone number is below the video. You can find us in a group uh, on on Facebook. You know, sixty minute car guys. By the way, for those of you that are serious about buying a car and you're not on you're not in our Facebook group, you're missing out on a ton of action because there's a lot of people that saved. Five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars, twelve thousand dollars on cars. And when you're gonna be in that community and you ask a question, there's not just gonna be me, Mr. Smarty Pants, there's gonna be people that went through the fucking process themselves and did it themselves. You're in community that has literally gone through the fucking ring of fire you're about to go to. Uh, Spear, okay. What do you think about 2016 Lexus GS350? I think it's good looking, you know. Uh, it's a bit, uh, it's more expensive than ES, but it's, it's pretty good. What up, Dan Corgi? How is it going, my friend? Hopefully, you're all having a good weekend here. Um, Dan, you know anything about negotiation for a motorcycle? How similar is it with cars? Dude, exactly the same fucking thing. Exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Literally, follow the same steps. Search nationwide, get the best possible price, get the pre-purchase inspection, make sure you have a loan ready, all that shit. Gary E, uh, when you go to a car dealership and talk to the salesman and use the items you taught them to use, they just look dumb-faced salesman. Yeah, listen, when, when you approach a salesman as a professional and you are actually skipping all the bullshit, you're like, Hey, I got the money. I know the car I want. Let's get down and dirty to the business. Well, shit. The salesman is going to be more confused than a squirrel, dude, with, with like a bunch of nuts around him. He's like, oh, shit, what the, what, what I do? Typically, I got to bullshit. There is not somebody to bullshit. Like, there is nothing to bullshit. They offered the money. They offered the car. They offered the price. All I got to do is accept the price and we're good. Or give him the best possible option, whatever we can. Like they, they, you cut all the bullshit out of it. That, that's, that's the thing, like, um, I was watching, you know, I'm all about learning, you know, I don't think I got the biggest dick in town, you know, so I'm always about learning. So I go to YouTube today, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna sharpen up my skills. 
So I, I you watch some other people that are also used to, you know, some people worked at the car dealership, leasing, blah, 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 all that shit. And they are still teaching going to the dealership. Like, what is this, 1980s? Have, have we just invented a fucking microwave? Like, come on, have you heard of the internet? Why would I drive to the fucking dealership in snow, in traffic, sitting for fucking 45 minutes in traffic? Why in God's name would I do that? Have you heard of email, texting? Uh, literally, I'm, I'm looking for a Honda Palisade for somebody. 150 dealerships contacted. 150 fucking dealerships. I'm, I negotiated with 150 fucking dealerships. Do that while you're driving. Yeah, let me see do, let me see anybody, one of these people that uh, teach you how to buy a car. Yeah, do that with 150 dealers. I wanna see you do that. How are you gonna get the best possible price if you're not searching nationwide? If you're not going out there and doing your absolute best do you want an average deal or do you want the best deal? Do you want your, like, guys, I'm going to take like one fucking second here just to make my point. When you go out to the bar, to the club, and you see a lot of women, do you approach a 250 pound fucking blue haired feminist? Or do you approach the finest bitch there is in the club? Huh? You approach the finest bitches there is. So if, you, if you're trying to get the finest pussy, why would you not get the best for your fucking family, for, your, for yourself? Hell, if you're not married, focus on yourself, focus on your own money. Why would you not do everything best financially for yourself, right? If you're trying to do, do something basic, like get better vagina, why wouldn't you not do something as important as be financially responsible? Darlene Timmons. I know you're probably not going to like these uh, examples, but <laughs> too late. I mean, they're out there. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I'm sorry. I forget that there's like three, three ladies that watch this. Uh, <laughs> old Dory Dasher. Uh, car chase in LA. I'll come back for your stream later. Car chase in LA, dude. Just let them fucking go, dude. Who gives a shit? Uh, love the videos. Dominic Woods. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate the support. Triple M. Newer cars are becoming too complicated and they will, uh, will become problem in my opinion. I don't think it's going to be a problem that much because newer cars have better diagnostics. So if there's a problem like here, because it's, because it, it's such a big piece of software, because everything is connected, I think it's gonna, the computer can be able, uh, the computer and AI is going to be able to determine where the problem is to the T. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Even though it's getting more complicated, the, the pinpointing of the problem is getting easier. Um, Night Wolf, what up, dude? Do, the, do Toyota dealers work on Lexuses? Absolutely, dude. My nearest Lexus dealer is an hour and a half away. Yeah, dude, it doesn't matter. Take it to Toyota, take it to Chevy, it doesn't matter. Like, Take it to any good qualified mechanic, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a dealership. Make sure they know what the fuck they're doing. Assad, why would you go to a dealer for a service, go to a local mechanic, he's probably a hundred times more knowledgeable than the idiot at the dealership. Yeah, here's the thing, like Assad is not even exaggerating. These people at the dealerships, they are fresh out of school, out of te tech schools. Fresh out of tech schools. The reason that dealerships are hiring these people fresh out of tech schools because they can pay them $15, $20 an hour. Uh, you know, a professional mechanic is going to want 20 or 30 or, you know, $35 an hour. So they fire all the good ones, replace them with all the new guys. They say in, in tech, they're doing all the same stuff as if they're doing the same stuff. It's not the same stuff. It's like, you know, a guy that's just, you know, two years a mechanic or 20 years a mechanic. Who do you think has more experience, right? So you, what you want to go is you want to go with the independent, you know, somebody in the backyard, somebody in the fucking garage, mechanic, you know. I knew back where I grew up, I knew motherfuckers that had literally like two car garage and it was a fucking shop inside. I mean, he could switch a trainee, a engine, he could repaint the car in his two, two car garage. So you got to find somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. And I have videos how to find mechanics. 
<clears throat> Dan, can you explain dealer holdback and dealer's wholesale uh, prices? Okay, Gary, so this is, this is how it is. So uh, the dealer holdback is a percentage of the deal that the dealership will get paid by the manufacturer. So it's like a reward, it's like a bonus. Let's think of it as a bonus. As far as the wholesale price, there is no wholesale price in, a, in, a, in car world. It doesn't exist. Like, what are you buying? A pound of cars? I'll take a fucking dozen. This, you're not buying eggs, okay? You're not, you're not buying fucking apples at farmer's market or at some, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll take three pounds of car. I'll take, I'll, I'll take 17 Lexuses. It doesn't exist like that. There is no such a thing as a wholesale car anything. There is no wholesale price. It doesn't, like, not it only it doesn't exist, it doesn't even exist in a theory. Like, how would this even work? Wholesale cars. Like, do you get them by the, by the handful? Like, ho like, if you get wholesale stuff, right, you get it really cheap and a lot of it. How are, you, how are you getting a lot and cheap cars? Like, are you a dealer? Why, and why, is anybody would, why would anybody be wholesaling cars? The manufacturing, the cheapest place to buy a car, the cheapest place is directly from the manufacturer. Well, the manufacturer is not even wholesaling them. They're, they're still making quite a bit of profit when they sell it to the dealership. So th this wholesaling thing, it doesn't fucking exist. I'll call a dealership, and I'll, and I'll ask them. No, no, they'll, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get some information about the car. And they'll be like, well, we're a wholesale dealership. I'm like, oh, you're a wholesale dealership. I actually know what wholesaling fucking is. Because I, I work with, uh, with people in, uh, in Asia where there is wholesale. Wholesale means there's a minimum requirement. You can buy, for example, you know, $20,000 worth of stuff minimum. You know what I mean? Or $15,000 worth of stuff minimum. Like they're not even going to talk to you if, you if you're not in, you know, like thousands of dollars, right? That's wholesaling. Like, like Walmart is buying clothes, wholesale. They're getting wholesale. They, like they have minimum of 2 million pairs of shoes, 3 million pairs of pants, 5 million, you know, t-shirts. That's wholesale. Are you, who is buying cars like this? Nobody. Clothes is just crap. Jim Moore, uh, how is IS, um, IS 2015, 2016? Uh, personally, not a huge fan of it, although I love how it looks. That thing looks sexy as hell. Uh, but there's a big butt, and it's not a good looking butt. It's kind of hairy. I would still buy ES. If I'm buying Lexus, I want my shit smooth, I want my shit comfortable, I want my shit luxurious. I won't be driving a couch on wheels with a steering wheel, okay? That's what I'm going to be driving. Uh, if I'm, you know, IS is like sporty car. Don't, don't, I, like IS is pretending to be sporty. They're not fucking sporty. Even their F Sport, it doesn't have a fucking V8. It's not a fucking sporty car. It's bullshit. It's crap. So if you're if you're buying IS for sportiness, you're you're messing up because you need to be buying Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400 all wheel drive. Or if you're buying uh, a Lexus IS for luxury, again you're messing up because you should be buying ES350. So it's like you're not you're not getting sporty car, you're not getting luxury car, you're getting some kind of weird thing. Although that weird thing looks good, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Local mechanics don't crap uh, out with serious day. Uh, Nightwolf, local mechanics don't crap about with cars with computers. I don't understand what that even means. They don't have a $100,000 diagnostic tester either. You don't need $100,000. It costs $2,000. $2,000 and you have yourself a professional high-end diagnostic tool, $2,000. And that's nothing for a mechanic, you know? I mean, that's not nothing, but they're going to buy it for like, you know, next fucking 10 years. Dan, I have a 300-pound blue-haired fetish. Ah, Triple M. I mean, if you're into it, shit, they're easy. They're out there, bro. Uh,
4G. If she fat, has collared or shaved hair, 200 pounds, and wearing a shirt that says, this is what a feminist looks like, you need to run away. <laughs> Feminists are knee sons of, of women. <laughs> oh, dude. Feminists are knee sons or of women. That is so funny. Oh, God, that is so funny, dude. Uh, Red Limb been there. Uh, done that. Darlene. Oh, dude. Darlene, you, you're, you're funny. Been there, done that. Ah, uh, what are we at? Upvote people. Yo, Triple M. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. If you want to click on thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Because YouTube needs the fucking algorithm, otherwise they don't give a shit. Erica Sanchez, what up, dude? Good to see you here. Happy Sunday, Dan. Happy to see you again. Just want to say hi. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. I love you guys. I love the support that you show me. I really, I, like, look in my eye. I love seeing all you here. Like, for real. I love seeing you guys here. Because uh, the four, okay, where are we at? Um, Gary V, because the Ford dealership here in North Dakota is having wholesale on their Ford edges. That's what they're advertising. Dude, um, Gary E, could you do me a huge favor? Like, I mean, really big one. Could you send me a link to it? I'll do an undercover uh, call with them. I'll interview them. I want to ask them, oh, it's a wholesale. Really? It's a wholesale price? Okay, so what's my minimum required? How many, how many fours do I need to buy? A dozen? Two dozen? Three dozen? Oh, I only need to buy one. So if I'm buying one, how the fuck is that a wholesale? Oh, you're okay. Like, I, I want to I, like, I hear a 50-year-old liar look stupid on the phone. That's it. I mean, it's fun. I can't say it's not fun. It is. <clears throat> in Toronto. Uh, Dan, evening, uh, good evening Dan, just, I had the Japanese built 2004 Lexus RX 330, but now I have 2016 RX 350. I think the older Lexus was more solidly built, uh, but the newer ones have smoother ride, what do you think? Uh, dude, I, I gotta agree with you like on both of those things, I probably agree with you, yeah. The juice man, you have twenty thousand dollars, and uh, should I should I get a Nissan Maxima, bro? No, you should invest twenty thousand dollars into making more money and buy a Toyota, buy a Honda, buy a buy a fucking Kia, buy a Honda, buy a Mazda, you know. There are thirty-two people here and only eight likes on the video. Let's go. Thanks, uh, Kermit. Appreciate it, guys. I really, really do. Alan Sutherland, sub in, looking at buying a used Tundra. Okay, <clears throat> good option. Dealer, what the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? I went to get buy in person. I don't want to get haggled or ripped off. How do I buy a used car? Thanks, love the chill. Uh, Alan, bro, you're like asking me such an open-ended question. Like, how do I, how do I buy a used car? I don't, I have like 300 videos on it, bro. You're like you. you Call me, bro, just, Alan, my phone number is below the video, just text me, we'll schedule a time, I'll get on the phone with you for 15 minutes, like, stock detail, like, your, your question is, like, way open-ended, I don't even know where to start, you know, what trim level, you know, the money, how do you want to pay for it, you have a trade-in, like, all that shit, like, we gotta talk about all that shit, uh, yeah, and this, this stream is hella chill, because I am, I'm a bit worn. I'm a bit fucking worn. I went, I gotta confess, I have committed a sin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I went to the fucking, uh, I went to the fucking, uh, uh, meet, met some people up over here in Miami. Went to the fucking club uh, last night. Dude, my voice is all sorts of fucked up. Then we went to someone's house and we went to the club. And then we went to someone's house again. So it was fucking amazing. I'm telling you. Like, it, Miami is so amazing. Like, big cities. I just love big cities and warm winters. It's the best.
what do you think about Hellcat? Uh, I mean, if you want to buy it, sure, buy it. But I'm a more of a GTR fanboy, you know. But if you want to buy it, sure, buy it. Oh, by the way, if you want a Hellcat, yo, <clears throat> uh, hook uh, Dominic Woods. Contact me because um, I might have some good news for you. I might have a little something special saved up just for you. Okay. Um, where are my ladies at in the chat? Let's give Dan our attention. He's the best dude. Erica, you're fucking amazing. I fucking love it for real. I love the support. Oh, God. The funniest thing, like I'm doing it, like there's a stream going on right now. I hear somebody cooking outside of my fucking apartment. Like, god damn. I live in a, such a special neighborhood. Let's just call it special. <laughs> uh, uh, internet price says 23, uh, 20, what is it, 239. Alan Sutherland. Um, I don't get it. Alan Sutherland, did I, did I fucking miss something? something? What, what are we? I, I don't know. Alan, Alan, can you like give me the whole thing in like one, one, one thing, in one text, in one message, in one comment? Because if you break it up, I, I can't follow it, you know? Uh, Johnny Freddy, what do you think about Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring 2019? Dude, I fucking love them. I love them. Especially when the Mazda started to make their own transmissions. <coughs> what do you, um, next one. I wanted to get Mazda CX-5 selected like Grand Tour uh, Touring Reserve or Signature Trim level for the turbo option. Takes the car to a whole new level. Corgi, yeah. Dude, I love turbos. I fucking love them. First, they're uh, economical when you need them to be. And when you want to step up, they're there. I had some uh, pansy give me shit because I didn't buy... Mazda CX-9, like fucker, I live in Florida and there is no air in, in a third row. Uh, what do I tell my kids? Here. Yeah, yeah, uh, you got, you got, dude, uh, Cliff Bradley, you gotta, you gotta watch out for your family first. Not what somebody else fucking tells you, not somebody else's opinion. Your family comes first and then... If you have time, you can listen to other people's opinions. Custom wheel horse tractor. What up, Eric? How's it going, buddy? Sterling. <laughs> Is that to me? <laughs> uh, your special neighborhood, we call it hood. I mean, you know, we, we could call it that. We could call it that. Uh, the juice main. Thanks for that advice, man. Do you recommend getting the top trim level as high trim uh, as possible. No, I do not recommend you go for the highest trim level and here's why. Buy the car that you need, right? And the, think about this, I actually have a video how to build a custom brand new car. You buy the car how, how you need it or a little less from the manufacturer and you see, hey, can I add these options aftermarket for less money? Mm, think about that one. So if you can add the same options for less money after market, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Forgy, uh, <clears throat> uh, got the woo what? Then uh, no man, I'm just my my throat is sore because I've been uh, I've been doing a little bit of uh meeting people and hanging out and just uh just went to went to a club last night. Then I recorded videos today and now I'm doing the stream, so my vocal cords are taking a pounding. Yes, that was dirty. <laughs> uh, DJX sketch. <laughs> oh God, this, this is PG-18. <laughs> uh, my advice uh, for buying a regular cab GM uh, work truck. Is the negotiating process any different when you are buying a car for your business? Absolutely not. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Uh, here's the cool thing, uh, DJ. If you're going to be using my service or you're going to be going uh, and uh, 
buying a training program and doing everything yourself, you can actually write it off. You can write off my service and you can write it off my training course as a business expense. So if you have a business and you use my shit, literally that's tax write-off. Just, just talk to your CPA and you know, in different states you like classify it differently, but you, you pretty much you classify me as like uh, a service or a fucking uh, educational for your business. Cliff Bradley, haha, no kids. I needed to save that 2,000 bucks so I had less room and no air. Oh, you got no kids? Okay, okay. Oh, I, th I think I thought you have kids. I, I don't get it. Crap, Cliff, I didn't get this one. <clears throat> Custom, you're good? Dude, hell yeah. If you're not good, make it good. Uh, Triple M, best place for a private seller? Great question. Facebook. Craigslist, Auto Trader, Core Gurus. That's probably gonna be it, to be honest with you. G Man, what do you think of a RX 350 F Sport options? I like the looks, but not sure if it's worth it. Bro, first, I love F Sport. I mean, it is sexy, but, but it's not worth it. I mean, you do have a nice fucking skirt. You've got the nice bumper you wrap around. It looks good. It has a nice grill. It has nice red interior. But thousands of dollars for a fucking bumper? For red seats? Are you shitting me? Hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Corgi. Hey man, do you know what? Let's just let's just put that in the quote book by Dan 2020. Dude. I don't know, just some of the shit I say is like, did I did I just fucking say that? How do they even say that? Uh tell you ride or RX350 both seem like excellent vehicles. Bro, G man, that's not even a question, dude. That's not even a question. Tell you ride by far. Forget about Lexus, dude. Tell you ride. Tell you ride, tell you ride, tell you ride, bro. By far, like, forget about Lexus, go buy a Telluride. Uh, DJ, you love write-offs. Dude, I love them too, my friend. I love tax write-offs. Cliff Bradley, I have four kids. My wife got that ass, you know. Oh, oh, oh shit. I know, I know, but I'm a, I'm a pull-out master. <laughs> oh, uh, Cliff Bradley, yeah, dude. Tell you right. I mean, there, there's literally people telling you tell you right. I would buy Hyundai or Kia over Lexus any day of the week if it makes sense financially. Because the like Genesis, Genesis. I love Genesis, but Genesis, uh, god damn, they're more expensive than fucking used Lexuses. Like people, what are you on? You know, I mean, they look like really good inside and out, but like, let can we like? get some price depreciation going at all. Like, guys, have you noticed that I'm not recommending G, um, Genesis too much? It's because it's still, it's still holding its value like, like better than fucking Lexus, it's crazy. Like, what the hell? Especially G70, G80, G90. Like, holy crap. <clears throat> um, I got a Palisade, but you only... Uh, but only because my wife said no, Kia, and she got that ass, you know. <laughs> you and your, your ass, dude. I mean, your wife's ass. Dude, that is so funny. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, man, you know, asses make great relationships. I'm telling you, man, it's, it, it just makes everything fucking better. All right, what kind of questions do we have? Or am I going to sign out and... uh What do you mean from um are we uh are we done here? Are we good to go? Has has have all the questions been answered and we are absolutely delighted with this stream and we can finish this off tonight. Uh Genesis uh Corgi Genesis G70, one of the least few luxury cars that still offers six-speed manual transmission. Not as exciting, but if you love the stick, it's an option. Oh, dude, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Cliff, what are we at? Triple M, 
my blue haired 300 pound girlfriend has eight asses. I mean, you know, eight asses, eight chins. <laughs> oh God, dude, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, I, bad, I feel bad for guys in New York and, and Florida. I mean, not Florida, like New York and California. Like, like it, it, it must be really, really bad there, especially in fucking New York. Because you, you, got, you got like fucking tens and nines, right? And then you have feminists. <laughs> so, oh, dude. I can't, like, I, I can't believe it. it, 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 it there, there's a place like New York, you know? I think, I think as soon as you cross the New York fucking state line, you're required to surrender your balls. You know, like, sir, um, we're going to have to take those. Those are not allowed here. <laughs> <clears throat> Then you you have Scotty's Toyota scam video, uh, yeah, um, he he made a video about it. You know, have you seen it? Yeah, I seen it. It's it's a sad video. You know, here here's the thing. The sad part is that it's gonna be happening again. So that's the sad part. Pontiac Aztec. Oh God, that oh, that atrocious thing. Miguel Lazen, I'm from New York, bro. Like, what are you doing in New York? Move to Florida. Move to freaking Texas, dude. Texas is freaking awesome. Especially if you're into guns. Uh, lady got scammed $10,000 extra by Toyota dealership in Texas. Their Yelp and dealership rating is getting blown up right now. Check out Toyota of Alvin. Dude, uh... Like, what can we do now? You know, she signed a contract. What can we do? You know? And on, do, you, do you understand that if this problem gets fixed, it's only because of Scotty. It's not because of the dealership. It's not because of the politicians. It's not because of fucking lawyers. It's not because somebody whose job it is to stand up for people that actually grew a pair of balls and stood up. No. It's because some fucking mechanic with YouTube channel has integrity. That's why. Like, it's the people fighting for the fucking people because if we don't fight for each other, ain't nobody gonna do shit. Eric uh, Speller, New York sucks, moved to New Jersey, now looking at Texas, bro. Real estate in Texas is fucking popping, dude. You can come in, buy a real estate, and that shit is gonna go up. <clears throat> I found that New York, you need a permit to ride a snowmo snowmobile race. Dude, Allison Lova, like, you need, no joke, Allison, not even joking. There's gonna be a permit for bicycling. You need a permit for a fucking bicycle in New York. Are you shitting me? Are you for fucking real? Uh, fun photos 2004. Looking at the 2017 Lexus CS350 just base model will serve me good. Someone with little more opinions. Uh, options. Like what options are you looking for? You know, figure out what options you want and figure out the trim level that matches you. That's it. Uh, Cliff. Cliff Bradley. My cousin drives Austec. That thing still runs, smokes like chimney. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Pontiac was a fucking, it was a special, it was a special fucking brand. <clears throat> I love California. Everyone seems to be fucking sensitive. Uh, I, dude, you live in California? Yeah, dude, I can't do like sensitivity thing. You know, I, I really can't. I'm from up, uh, Crim Crum. I'm from upstate New York, but also have a house in Florida. What's your output on 2018 Nissan Rogue? Stay away from it. It's a Nissan. Nis okay, listen. Nissan is the what, what, what was it? The the feminists are the woman. No, no, no. Hold on, dude. How did you say it? I forgot. That was fucking gold. You know. Nissan is the is the feminist of of, of woman or something like that. Dude, like, why would you buy a Nissan? Buy a fucking Toyota. Buy a Honda. Buy a Hyundai. Buy a Kia. Why would anybody buy a, buy a Nissan? I don't understand. It's 
especially a rogue. You know, I understand if you're going for a higher end trim, but like or higher model, but a rogue? I don't know, dude. Erica Sanchez, don't buy a Chrysler vehicle. Yeah, I wouldn't buy a Chrysler to be honest with you guys. Uh 4G, my cousin visited LA last month. We went to a restaurant and pulled plastic straw from his pocket. People fainted. <laughs> Oh God, the fact that you can, the fact that you can get into trouble by with using a plastic fucking straw. God damn, like, dude, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, like 1984 is real. I, I, I know about that shit because I actually had a good high school teacher that, uh, that told us about that book and we actually had to read it. One of the few things that were actually useful from high school. Uh, Allison Lovell, do, dude, if you saw how the bicyclists ride around here, uh, you say uh, they need a driver's license. Oh, oh, dude, same here in Miami. Like all these people riding bicycles in the middle of the fucking road, and there is a sidewalk. Like, do you not want to live? Do you want to end up with a seat up your asshole? <laughs> like. What are you doing? Like, this, I guarantee you, you do that. You ride a bicycle on the road anywhere else in the world. You, you will have a bell ringing every time you breathe. It's going to be like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it, was a, it was from a comedian. I, I forgot who it was, but uh, it, it was from a comedian. Yeah. Like, Americans are so nice that we're like, all right, I'm not going to run you over. You go to fucking Mexico or South America, your, your shit is going to get run over. Remember, um, remember then, hangovers are temporary, drunk stories are forever. Dude, Chuck, Chuck Lang, I don't even drink, bro. Like, I, I had such a good fucking night, I don't even drink. I don't drink, I don't do any drugs, I don't smoke, like I don't do anything that makes me weaker or that like uh, fucks up like with my decision making, you know? Because I, uh, I was with a bunch of fucking uh, drunk people and then at the end of the night when they're like starting to sober up a little and they're like, remember what they did? It's like, oh fuck, I did that, I'm so sorry. And you hear this fucking 30 year old apologizing for, he, for how fucking stupid he was three hours ago. Like, dude, I'm not gonna be fucking doing that, you know? You know, so, but I can, ha I can have a fucking ball, you know, I can have so much fucking fun without drinking. I'm just weird like that. I get on that natural high, like Snoop Dogg level. Uh, Carrie Niece, hey there, my husband has eight inch, oh, Carrie, uh, good for you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Corgi, can he use it? <laughs> can he use it? Oh, Carrie, that's fucking awesome, dude. The best fucking relationships, I'm telling you. I'm telling, like, the best relationships you can get is, like, whenever you're chasing your woman and butt naked and around the house just for fun. That's the best. I mean, that is just the best, you know? Like, fuck going out on a date. Fuck your fancy restaurants. Fuck all the cruises. I just want to chase each other naked around the house. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the most fun, like, I ever, I, that I ever fucking probably had in my entire life. There's, there's nothing. I mean, maybe, like, a good, good day at the gun range, you know, or, uh, or maybe taking a car to the back roads, you know. Uh, Eric Slipper, a speller, my bad, I can't read. Uh, is the Honda Accord getting mid-cycle uh, refresh? They, they I see them everywhere, nice looking car, but would you would love to see them refine the look. Um, I don't know if they're gonna refine the look. It's a Honda Accord, bro. Like they're slow, like they're slow to adapt. They're just existing and they're reliable. Dude, the only thing that Honda has going for it, it's reliable. It. It's definitely not the looks. It's definitely not the fucking design. Uh, clear, I mean, Honda's design team is getting paid in top ramens and frozen pizzas because that's that's how their cars look i mean maybe maybe capri suns 
play with Bradley in state, uh, state Pete, Florida. Now you can have a plastic straw. You can't have plastic straws at uh, Carabas. We don't even get paperless. Uh, Recyclable? Did you say recy recyclable? Cliff, uh, I don't understand that last word. Recyclable fucking straw? Yeah, let me let me fucking catch herpes from somebody. Let, let me get on that fucking train. Like, for real. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, I know people that, like, uh, they'll, they'll buy, like, a hundred fucking straws. And they have them in cars. And whenever they go to, like, a restaurant, like, they just grab, a f they, they grab like, you know, three or four straws with you, you know, for enough people. And, they're, and like, the, like these, these are not, you know, super, like, you know, how do I say this? Uh, you know, very, uh, like, let's say law-abiding people. I mean, they're not criminals or anything like that, but they're, like, they're definitely not, uh, you know, paper straw type of people. Let's just go with that. So uh, a fucking waiter comes up and he's like, sir, uh, we, you can't have a plastic straw in this restaurant. And this guy's like, you touch my straw, I'll break your fucking hand. Never heard a complaint again. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, fun photos. You have to cordial. Uh, second life. It's it's illegal to ride a bike on a sidewalk. Bicycles are supposed to be on the road. Well, Second Life, I mean, if you want to, if somebody wants to be dead, you know, with a, with, a, with a fucking bicycle bell in your kidney or a lung, sure, whatever. Like, I'm, like, I would never allow my kid bicycle on the fucking road. Ever! Ever! Half these motherfuckers are texting while driving. If you, if you drive a, a bicycle on the road and you come home alive, like, go, go get a lottery. Because you just fucking won a lottery. You didn't get fucking killed by somebody texting. Uh, back in 2000, sound was great. I was an old, uh, uh, sound was great. From, yeah, fun photos. Yeah, back in the day, Nissans were actually pretty good. Uh, Honda CRV, best SUV. I wouldn't say so, Crim Crum. I would take Honda or Kia instead. Why? Because a hundred thousand mile warranty, same great quality, and more options for the same amount of money. Uh, typo. I I have a two thousand. And yeah. Racing to be. Uh, state. Saint Petersburg is racing to be. In New York, hoard plastic straws. Uh, we would not get paper straws. No straws allowed. No, like, I don't even know where this world is going to. I don't even know. What's your favorite color of a car? Ah, uh, white. I love white cars. It's so simple, but I love white cars. Or like gunmetal gray. Okay, I'm a sucker for gunmetal gray also. Second life, yeah. I mean, the the a lot of these laws are are not written for practical use. Like, I, dude, I swear. Okay, dude, this is like I think we're done talking about cars. So I mean, I'm or whatever. I like I don't see too many cars like car questions here. I guess I'm just fucking talking. So I don't even know why you're all still here. So I go to uh, a police department here. Uh, because there was a situation, so I, I wanted to talk to a, a police guy. And uh, there was, um, I think, uh, did I tell this story or no? I don't, if I told this story, I guess you're going to hear it twice. Um, I go to the police station. I talk to the police officer. He's been, he, he tells me he's been working there for 26 years, for 26 years. And uh, I ask him, hey, uh, you know, w can I carry a gun with me just under my shirt, you know, whenever I go out? Uh, he's like, yeah, if you get a license. I'm like, well, what if I don't want to get a license? Well, I, you, you're, you're not allowed to carry a gun. He's like, so I was like, uh, the reason I asked him that 
is because they had uh, a, like a bunch of patriotic uh, quotes from like uh, presidents from like um, JFK, Reagan, you know, just old school presidents. Presidents, uh, they were super patriotic. And I asked him, so what about the Second Amendment that that, uh, that allows me to have any gun that I want? But you're telling me I'm not allowed to carry a gun under my shirt. Like, what's, what's wrong? He's like, well, well, you know, so the, a lot of these laws, they don't make any fucking sense at all. Once you actually, like, stop and think about it, like, half, these, half this stuff, I mean, it got to be written by somebody who's, like, just smoking a fucking doobie. I mean, it has, like, I think Shaggy. Fucking Scooby-Doo and Shaggy wrote that shit because it doesn't make sense. I'm going to rent a small plane and drop plastic straws over New York. Dude, that'd be fucking epic. That would be epic. That would be like uh, distributing a uh, fucking newspaper in Vice City. Allison Lovell, I haven't had trouble with plastic straws in New York, but they are about to ban plastic bags. Here's the crazy thing. Uh, it's the... The plastic, the, the paper straws are actually worse than plastic. Here's why. Because it takes more coal, more fucking electricity to make paper straw. And it takes, like, the pay, the, you actually are cutting down fucking trees, right? Or you're recycling paper, which takes more energy. So if, if you do the actual math, the, the, the paper stuff is actually worse. Because you have to recycle it. But, and it's harder to recycle. With plastic... You just heat it up and it's plastic again. You know, it's plastic fucking blob. With paper, you can't heat up paper and just turn it into something. Um, Second Life. We, uh, we like what you have to say. Uh, thank you, Second Life. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm the minority, trust me. Uh, fun Photos 2004. When you think of car dealership leaf, lease, off only. Uh, I'm actually going to be making a video. Fun photos. Stay tuned. I'm going to be making a video about off lease only. I wouldn't buy a car from them. When someone purchasing your service to find a used car, do you perform pre-purchase inspection if the vehicle uh, found out of state? No, I don't do pre-purchase inspection. Like, how am I going to do a pre-purchase inspection? Like, I can't fly over there. So what we do is you tell the dealer, hey, my bank requires me to do a pre-purchase inspection. Here's a nearby uh, dealership, take it to them, I'll pay for it. And that's how you do it. So there's like a, there's a script that, that does all that. Uh, Julio, uh, if you want, you can go through the training program and just do everything yourself. You're going to save like 300 bucks, you know, and you don't have to use me. Off lease only car sales, what you think about. Yeah, uh, fun photos. I would not buy anything from off lease. It's, they don't have the best prices. They don't negotiate. They have dealership fees. They're firm and price. Uh, no, they don't negotiate. Yeah, and then they have a lot of fucking, uh, you know, damaged vehicles. So I'm um, like, no. No, thank you. <clears throat> uh, Cliff, you can open carry in Florida. If you are a Civil War reenactor, you can carry around 58 caliber pistol or musket. The law exists here for that shit applies to everyone um i mean to me as far as i understand law uh the highest law in the land is the constitution so nothing can fuck with the constitution if the constitution says uh the government has no right to infringe on my rights to bear arms i can own a fucking jet i mean if i'm a millionaire and i and i just want to fucking buy an abrams just to roam around my fucking farm, whatever, buy yourself a fucking Abrams, you know? If you're, if you got money and you want an F-16, buy yourself a fucking F-16, you know? Your, ac your accent is different, what country of origin you're from? Dude, I'm Russian, I'm Russian as fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can... <clears throat> Alright guys, thank you for tuning in uh hold on chuck chuckling what is cut off for ppi lexus twenty eight thousand miles needed is still um it, you so the because it has twenty eight thousand miles it's still under warranty so if anything's fucked up you can get it repaired for free right transmission fucked up get it get it fixed for free engine fucked up get it fixed for free all 
All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Appreciate your support. I'm glad you all came out. Hopefully, you enjoyed something. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, when you go out, I'm just kidding. I don't want to be hopefully. I want to be certain. When you go out, I want you to be certain that you're getting the best possible deal. I want you to know that when you're putting work, you're searching nationwide, you're doing how I teach you what to do, you're getting the best possible deal. My name is Dan, motherfucking strong. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. Cliff, fly by. I'll see you all in the next video.